Regenerative farming is a mindset of being a bit more connected and aware of waste and use of resources. We had a dream of a regenerative farm, a place to share and to teach people sustainability, but we really didn't have the skills to know how to implement it. It's quite daunting, but to know that you have a tool like YouTube to turn to, that's really powerful. Being parents changes your perspective on the need for a better, cleaner future. Really, the farm, it's not just about our children, but it's about all children, really. We're trying to improve the health of the land, our family, and ultimately the planet as well. The idea of moving from a normal block in a city to 100 acres was daunting. One of the big catalysts was finding this block. The only problem was there was absolutely nothing here at all. My first thought was, gee, they've got a lot of work ahead of them here. I don't think people realise how much work goes into growing food. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely no idea. Every single thing required having to learn something new. We had input from other people, but our farmer friends are not always alongside us every time something goes wrong. And that's when we turn to YouTube. How to build a chicken coop, how we increase the fertility of the soil, pruning the orchard, how to set up electric fencing, how to move pigs around. If you haven't grown up on a farm, it's really hard without a resource like YouTube. We watered with buckets for the first three years. So that was a pretty amazing day when the tap was installed. It was like liquid gold. <laughs> <laughs> If we operate this farm in isolation and we don't share it with anybody, then it really doesn't reach its full potential. To bring people here and have them experience what might be possible and get inspired was quite critical for us. Mm. That's when we started to think about the next steps. Welcome to One Table Farm, everyone. <laughs> One Table Farm is a farm-based, climate-aware cooking school. It enables us to teach people little areas of regenerative farming, whether that be starting to make their own bread, composting differently, knowing how to grow a tomato. There's lots of ways in which we can all be small regenerative farmers. They're not just doing this in isolation for themselves, they actually want to influence the local community. That's right, and I've been inspired to start my own veggie garden at home in town. It's right. Mix it in like that, Zali. That's perfect. Sustainability really is everybody's issue, and it's incredibly important that we have people like Tim and Cree actually educating people. It's remarkable what they've achieved in a short space of time. <laughs> We've damaged the earth in lots of ways. We do need to regenerate the land. It's about a collective contribution. That ultimately has an impact on the world we're hopefully building for the future. These things are small, but there's huge capacity for change and improvement for really generations. <laughs>